Rising of the Shield Hero is a premise on an anime we've all seen from a long time ago. You know, you get summoned to another world. You are told by the king that you have the ability to save the world. And it's up to you and this colorful cast of people who came there with you to be the legendary heroes. Now, our main character, obviously by the title, is Nafumi, the shield hero. And you might think that's cool, he can carry another blade, but no. He's literally only able to use a shield. And it's like, what? Is that possible? Just to use a shield in combat? So he's completely looked down on, immediately looked down on by the other members, because we have the spear hero, Marayoshu. We have the sword hero, Ren, and then we have the bow hero, Isuki. And these guys are treated like just the top fucking dogs. Just immediately, the top dogs. Like, no one else is even close to getting the treatment that they get. And it's kind of fucked up. That shield hero immediately gets treated like just second tier character. But that's because it has a long history, the shield does. And the king, I want to, I think his name is Alt Cray. His daughter, which we're just going to call a bitch. <laughs> her, 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 literally, that's what people call her now. That's her name. It was Malty, but, you know, her name's Bitch now. But his daughter, Bitch, <laughs> and I uh, have, have this scheme. This, this whole scheme, because technically they're a matronarch society, so the king doesn't really mean nothing. It's all about the queen, Morelia, but she's not around during the first half of the manga and the first half of the series. Now, she does have people looking after the shield hero, but the shield hero goes through so much torment, so much pain, so much just like so much torture that he just cannot even fathom. The society that he's in right now. And they said the only way to get summoned back to your home is to die. So the shield hero has to go through these waves. Has to kill these monsters. Has to just survive another day. But he needs command. He needs companions. He needs companions. So what does the shield hero do? He goes out and he gets a companion from a shady ass vendor in the middle of nowhere. Anime trope 101. You want some dark power? Here you go. And he buys his first slave. Which comes out to be everyone's favorite character, Rata Rathelia. I want to make him say that name wrong. Rathelia. Rathelia is a squirrel race demon who has like the ability to level up and then grow up through her levels. So the race is different. It's very different. Like she ages extremely fast. The higher her level is, the higher of her her maturity rises. And our character, Nafumi, he doesn't even look at it that way. So just this weird underlining, like, story arc where she wants to be recognized as an equal by him. As the older she gets through the more levels they get. Then they, then they get Philo. Philo is like the fucking queen of her fucking race. He just, like, randomly picks her in a fucking gotcha. <laughs> he, got the, he, like, he has low-key the best fucking luck ever. Then... She also saves the second the princess, Melty, who also wants to join his party, his group. So the second princess, the one who's in line to be the to take the crown from her mother, joins his fucking group. And like you start learning to love the shield hero because he is just unfortunate in this world because these people have a certain certain races to beasts and demon tribes. They just, just were racist to it, and the shield has always been a reverence of peace and unity amongst the peoples. And the humans are like, fuck that, we don't want unity with these beasts and demon tribes. So the shield hero keeps meeting different allies, keeps seeing things from differently. He even protects citizens while going through the waves, and he doesn't want recognition like the rest of the heroes. He goes out and he fucking fights under an alias. Now, don't get me wrong, you can't hide the shield. It's attached to him, you can't take it off. But he goes out with an alias, so people don't even know. Some people don't even know he's a shield hero. They just think he's a traveling mage, a traveling healer, a traveling salesman. Which in all reality, that's not even close to the truth. This show just has so many layers and the manga, dives deeper into that. And I'm like, where is this season two? 
I just need it. I just need it in my life, man. It's so good. Rise of the Shield Hero is so freaking good. And there's so much more to unpack it here. It's not even got started. From going to the Shield Hero uniting the other heroes, letting them know that they're being tricked by the king when the queen shows up, to overthrowing a, uh, a plot from a righteous church cult, to what happens in the manga, which will prepare for season two, of trying to even unite one another against the other wave users, from which you find out the waves are just people from different planets. Uh, the similar scenarios different heroes cast it out in those similar worlds who have to do the same thing so the real enemy is what's causing the waves it's not the waves themselves is what's causing the waves it's not the people that's coming with the waves is what's actually causing the waves that's the real fucking enemy but you have these assholes that are the other heroes who've been tainted by this world for too long and they already came in with this sense of just difference that they just can't completely see together they think that they're going to be stronger separate but in reality show hero knows this that the only way for them really to be strong is to keep combining all their weapons together the legendary weapons weren't meant to be fucking separated and it's just so much left to uncover it's so much story that needs to happen there's so many surprises around the corner and i'm just like i need a season two rise of the shield hero was amazing give me a season two now please thank you not tomorrow today Give me a season two, Todd. Hey, it was just so freaking good. And I can't be on one thinking that. So I decided, you know, I'll take some time out of my day to talk about Rise of the Shield Hero. Uh, hopefully other people like it. And they also want to talk about it as well. So that's my opinion on the Rise of the Shield Hero. And I will uh, see you next time.